everyone i hope you're okay today it is quite warm isn't it but it's raining so it's a bit funny weather hopefully we'll have dry and sun sunny weather again soon um but anyway do you remember last week we looked at an amazing true story from the bible about the blind man and jesus gave him his sight he could see which was brilliant well today we're looking at another true story from the bible and in this story we've got a man called lazarus and lazarus is really really poorly i think we need to do a sad face for lazarus and he's got two sisters, Mary and Martha, and they're really worried for their brother. They think he might die. He's that ill. Anyway, they send a message to Jesus. Jesus, come quickly. And they're hoping, I guess, that he'd be a bit like an ambulance and come as soon as he can. But Jesus hears that Lazarus is ill. And Jesus loves Lazarus, but Jesus does something funny. And you might think, to, sound with, to start with, it sounds a bit mean. But it isn't mean, okay? So just listen to the whole story, okay? Hear me out. Jesus waits and waits, and then he waits a bit longer. He waits for two whole days, and then he goes to see Lazarus. But very sadly, in that time, Lazarus has died. They've wrapped his body up in cloth. And they put it in a tomb and they covered the tomb with a big stone. And then Jesus comes and Jesus can see how sad they are. He sees how sad um, Mary is and Martha. And they say, Lord, why didn't you come? You could have saved him. And Jesus asked them to do something a bit weird. But Jesus says, take the stone off the tomb. So they did that. And then Jesus prayed a prayer. Father God, thank you that you always hear my prayers. Please make Lazarus alive again so that everyone here will know that I can save people. Amen. And then Jesus says, Lazarus, come out. And Lazarus got up. Do you know, isn't that amazing? He'd been in that tomb for four days, but then Lazarus got up and then he started to walk around. Isn't that amazing? That is so amazing, isn't it? Lazarus was dead, but Jesus brought him back to life. And that was why, because Jesus could have gone back and just made him better. But Jesus even showed that he has power over death. And then there were people there that saw what had happened and they put their trust in Jesus. And the great thing for anyone who puts their trust in Jesus, one of the great things, is that if you put your trust in Jesus, you can go and be with him in heaven and live forever. You can have eternal life with Jesus. I think I should say a really big wow prayer today, don't you? Wow, it's so amazing. Jesus even had power over death. And thank you that he still has power over death today. And if anyone puts their trust in him, they can have eternal life. Please help us to want to put our trust in Jesus. Amen. Now we need to sing our song of the term, don't we? He's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole wide world in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands and now we need to sing that he made lazarus alive he made lazarus alive yes he did he made lazarus alive yes he did he made Lazarus alive. Yes, he did. He made Lazarus alive. And you remember from last week, he made the blind man see. He made the blind man see. Yes, he did. He made the blind man see. Yes, he did. He made the blind man see. Yes, he did. He made the blind man see. And then we had Jesus walking on water, didn't we? Jesus walked on the water. Yes, he did. Jesus walked on the water. Yes, he did. Jesus walked on the water. Yes, he did. 
Jesus walked on the water. And you remember, he fed 5,000 people with bread and fish. 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 He fed 5,000 people. And you remember, he made the lame man walk. He made the lame man walk. Yes, he did. He made the lame man walk. Yes, he did. He made the lame man walk. Yes, he did. He made the lame man walk. And remember, he healed the boy from afar. He healed the boy from afar. Yes, he did. He healed the boy from afar. Yes, he did. He healed the boy from afar. Yes, he did. He healed the boy from afar. And you remember, the very first um, miracle that we looked at this series was he turned water into wine. Yes, he did. He turned water into wine. Yes, he did. He turned water into wine. Yes, he did. He turned water into wine. Wow, amazing stuff. And it's all true. Now we need to sing happy birthday to Evan. It was Evan's birthday just yesterday. Should we sing? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Evan. Happy birthday to you. I hope you had lots of fun celebrating. Well, I would love it if you would join us for our 10.30 service uh, this Sunday it's on YouTube. Um, just go to YouTube and search for St Stephen's Prenton um, and you can uh, get all previous Little Seeds talks there and previous um, Sunday services and Matt's evening thoughts. Um, and also we really would love it if you wanted to find out more about Christianity, perhaps this whole time um, has thrown up some questions. So please do get in touch. Um, and we can uh, talk to you more about how you can find out more about Christianity. We'd love to do that with you. Um, now, I think we should start by singing, if you're happy and you know it, because just think how happy Mary and Martha and Lazarus and Jesus and everyone who was there would have been to see Lazarus um, come back to life because of Jesus. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. And now we're going to nod our heads. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, nod your head. Now we're going to stamp our feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. We're going to shout, we are. If you're happy and you know it, shout, we are. We are. If you're happy and you know it, shout, we are. We are. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout, we are. We are. And should we try and do all four? If you're happy and you know it, do all four. We are. If you're happy and you know it, do all four. We are. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do all four. We are. Yay. Now, should we sing the wheels on the bus? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. What about the wipers? The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all day long. And what about the horn? The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep all day long. 
And what about the doors? The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all day long. And what about the children on the bus? The children on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The children on the bus go up and down all day long. And what about the mummies on the bus? The mummies on the bus go chat, 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 chatter, 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 chatter. The mummies on the bus go chatter, chatter, chatter all day long. And what about the babies? The babies on the bus go wah, 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 wah. The babies on the bus go wah, wah, wah all day long. And um, don't forget those grannies, what do they do? The grannies on the bus go knit, 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 knit. The grannies on the bus go knit, knit, knit all day long. Brilliant. Should we have cows in the kitchen? Cows in the kitchen, moo, moo, moo. Cows in the kitchen, moo, moo, moo. Cows in the kitchen, moo, moo, moo. What shall we do, Tom Farmer? And are we going to have some pigs in the pantry? Pigs in the pantry, oink, oink, oink. Pigs in the pantry, oink, oink, oink. Pigs in the pantry, oink, oink, oink. What shall we do, Tom Farmer? Are we going to have some ducks on the dustbin? Ducks on the dustbin, quack, quack, quack. Ducks on the dustbin, quack, quack, quack. Ducks on the dustbin, quack, quack, quack. What shall we do, Tom Farmer? We're going to have some sheep on the sofa. Sheep on the sofa, ba, ba, ba. Sheep on the sofa, ba, ba, ba. Sheep on the sofa, ba, ba, ba. What shall we do, Tom Farmer? And what is Tom Farmer doing? Is he fast asleep? Farmer in the haystack, fast asleep. Farmer in the haystack, fast asleep. Farmer in the haystack, fast asleep. Time to wake up, Tom Farmer. Out of the farmhouse, shoo, shoo, shoo. Out of the farmhouse, shoo, shoo, shoo. Out of the farmhouse, shoo, shoo, shoo. That's what we'll do, Tom Farmer. Brilliant. I think we should sing A Hedgehog is Very Prickly. A hedgehog is very prickly. A hedgehog is very prickly. A hedgehog is very prickly, he couldn't be anything else. Now we're going to have a bee is very buzzy. A bee is very buzzy, a bee is very buzzy, a bee is very buzzy, it couldn't be anything else. And what about a frog that's very jumpy? A frog is very jumpy, a frog is very jumpy, a frog is very jumpy. It couldn't be anything else. Oh, should we have a cuddly teddy? A teddy is very cuddly. A teddy is very cuddly. A teddy is very cuddly. It couldn't be anything else. And we're going to have a hissy snake. A snake is very hissy. A snake is very hissy. A snake is very hissy. It couldn't be anything else. Oh. And what about this one? A crocodile's very snappy. A crocodile's very snappy. A crocodile's very snappy. It couldn't be anything else. And we're going to have an owl that's very flappy. An owl is very flappy. An owl is very flappy. An owl is very flappy. It couldn't be anything else. Now, should we have... Twinkle, twinkle, do you want to get your twinkly fingers out? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Brilliant. I think we should finish with the Grand Old Duke of York. Should we do that one? Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York, 
he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Now, can you do that quietly? Oh, the Grand Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Well done. Now, can you do that really, really quickly? Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, he marched them down again. But when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Oh, that was a bit of a workout. Right, anyway, I uh, hope you um, have a good week and I will see you next week with some more amazing stories. Next time we're going to be looking at some stories that Jesus told. Take care everyone, bye!